Well, hey there. Welcome to, welcome to day 1059 of What's She Up To Now. Sharon Horn Elstrom here at your service, sharing my business journey as I transition from the brick and mortar world and the over a quarter century in the corporate world, as well as running a bunch of different types of businesses in various industries over, geez, over four and a half decades. That's just scary to, to say out loud. Four and a half decades. But, uh, had the opportunity to go online in 2016 or not 2016 in 2017 and go online in 2016 I was still uh, in <laughs> getting rid of assets from my divorce so uh, 2017 was looking at after my divorce needing something to do wanting to do something that I was curious about and had been curious about for a long time I was too old to want to go back to some of the things that I'd done in my life before I got married but I also and had businesses and and did all these things so I didn't want to go back to corporate America but I also wasn't ready to throw in the towel I didn't feel like I was ready to just be done with everything that uh, I could offer or hopefully contribute to the world so I decided I'd always been interested in the online world but had never really um, had the time and energy to pursue it with everything else I had going on and here was a time where my kids are grown up um, divorced I actually have the time to explore and learn and figure out some of this online mysterious stuff that I'd never understood before. So I hopped online in 2017 and have been online ever since. Super duper grateful that I had done that in 2017, given what the heck is going on in 2020. Uh, I don't think this year is like anything any person on the planet has ever seen before. Uh, I really don't. I mean... Maybe certain people have been involved with pandemics and things before, but for the for the vast majority of us on this planet, this is all new and crazy as heck. So today for our idiom, I do an idiom for the Supersize Your Business segment. I chose the idiom holiday spirit and I realized, well, geez, I need to research this because my holiday spirit's pretty much in the toilet like, like a lot of other people's. We're doing the things that we can do on the surface to feel better about it, but a lot of us are feeling this sense of of unrest and frustration and and just um, disappointment. I think in in the way 2020 has gone. Your 2020, I thought in the beginning was going to be this year of vision, and I I personally have vision challenges. So I thought, all right, it's going to be my year of vision to to move forward and get straight. And on a personal level, it has been. But overall interacting with human beings for the get up and go challenge i have a soap framework that i share soap and today we're talking about a the action part of the soap framework and i i realized that uh that's what's gotten me through covid19 that my granddaughter my kids uh otherwise yikes what a year it's been so how do we increase our holiday spirit when a lot of the ways that we normally celebrate the holidays have been you know curtailed or shut off no holiday parties unless you're somebody that breaks the rules and and goes ahead and has them anyway uh i think that's what's making us disheartened is we see we're told not to do these things yet we see the people that tell us not to do them doing them anyway which is really you know do as i say not as i do uh-uh doesn't fly doesn't fly in parenting doesn't fly in uh in the real world either you know you or I, none of us could do the things that certain people are doing and getting away with and get away with it. We would be in prison. We would be held accountable for our actions. And I personally think it's time that everybody, everybody is held accountable for their actions. Uh, there's been some, some very ugly behavior in 2020 and it needs to be addressed and people need to step up and be 100% personally responsible for the things that they say and do including me. I need to be responsible for the things that I say and do as well. So holiday spirit, how can we beef that up? I got a list. I actually went online and, get, and made a list of uh, 11 things. And then I added a whole bunch of my own because I was like, I need to really tap into and do some of these things. And some of them I've already done. Some of them I'm going to really beef up and continue to do more. Holiday tunes. We haven't played hardly any holiday music around here. Uh, so I'm going to make sure that we do that. Uh, watch some old car Christmas cartoons. I've done that as part of my research for Christmas idioms. Uh, make hot chocolate or eggnog. I'm not a hot chocolate drinker unless it's got a little peppermint schnapps in it and whipped cream and Same with eggnog eggnog. I like eggnog, but it's a little better when it's got that little something extra in it uh, Throw a holiday party. Those are taboo this year watch Christmas movie definitely doing more of that 
uh, read some Christmas classics, visually challenged, but I can listen to Christmas classics, right? And I will still pull out and have my son or somebody read uh, a couple of the key Christmas, you know, Mr. Willoughby's Christmas tree, annual favorite here. Uh, and then, of course, A Christmas Carol, The Night Before Christmas. Uh, look at Christmas lights. Have done that. Again, can't see very well, but there's still pretty colors, and I can see pretty colors. So uh, we went to look for the Christmas star last night and couldn't find it through the inclement weather in our area, but we were able to see Christmas lights, and that was fun, and they are beautiful. People have really gone all out, I think, as a way to combat their and, and beef up their own holiday spirit this year. I've noticed even with other holidays, 4th of July was crazy because everybody had to do their own parties this year. Other holidays as well. Halloween, people weren't trick-or-treating, but they were decorating to the nines. So that was fun to see as well. And the same thing is happening with Christmas. I put up a tree and I put decorate it in parentheses because our tree is up, has been up, but it's only half decorated. So we need to get that done over the next day or two. Um, plan a romantic holiday themed date. Not going to happen. Uh, go see A Christmas Carol as a play or go see Nutcracker Ballet or something. Not going to happen this year. Uh, do service, help others. Yes, absolutely, positively, yes. This is one of the most important things you can do. And there's, there's ways to volunteer that are still COVID safe, right, and compliant. Uh, so how do you get in the holiday spirit? What are you doing this year? And is it something different than you've done before? Or is it just more of things you've done in the past to really feel the, the joy and the kindness and the love of the season? Uh, I know that I'm doing different things this year, but I'm still doing as many. I'm actually doing more because I'm... I'm not feeling very Christmassy or very, very holiday y this year. Just inside, I guess outside, still doing some Christmassy things, but inside, just kind of not feeling it. And it makes me super sad because Christmas has always been like my favorite holiday, one of my favorite holidays. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to start. I, I realized this morning I've not done any holiday baking. And I didn't get to last year because I was sick. I swear I had COVID over last Christmas and I didn't get to do any holiday baking. When you're sick, you don't do any holiday cooking or baking. I totally missed Christmas and New Year's last year, which is a bummer, but I, want, I should be wanting to make up for it this year. And, and we are. Uh, we've got some fun, fun family from Florida and their dad's deployed. So they made the trip up and the drive up from Florida so that uh, the cousins could play together a little bit, things like that. Um, I'm doing some holiday baking. I said starting today because holiday baking always gives me joy and makes me happy. I'm also going to finish a tree, wrap a ton of presents. I got piles and piles of presents that need to be wrapped, of course. And that's, you know, giving and showing people how much I love them. That's a nice way to do it. Holiday nails are always fun for me, although I might have to go get repaired because for some reason two of them are already um, smudged and I just got them yesterday. So I'm sad, but I love them. So I'm going to go get them fixed. I'm not going to not do it. So what are you doing to, you know, beef up your holiday spirit this year? I'd love if you would share in the comments below because I am looking for ways to just feel more Christmassy, more kind. I guess I try to be kind every day, but just I want to feel more of it. I'm, I'm missing the absolute joy that usually oozes out of people this time of year. Uh, Get Up and Go Challenge was about action. What action are we going to take? We're doing it in the area of relationships. With I got to tell you, that's the the... As far as the seven areas and aspects of our life go, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, and contribution, the relationship one has always been my biggest challenge and for a lot of reasons, but that's my that's my area where it's so important and so critical, yet personally, I struggle with it the most. Now, it's interesting because I'm supposed to be this outgoing personality, but not so much, right? So that was our Get Up and Go Challenge today, where, and we talked about nominal group technique, Five, four, three, two, one, blast off like Mel Robbins does it to, to get us taking action. When we, we know what to do. We know what we're going to do. We've decided what we want to do, but we're just making excuses or, or reasons to put off and, and delay taking action immediately. And we also talked about uh, how we filter our choices through our head, our heart, and our intuition. And that the best decisions, the ones that are always in our own best interest, take all three areas into account. They don't skip any. Uh, fun challenge today was, I already forgot about it, so it must have been kind of boring. I can't remember what it was. It doesn't matter, but we did the fun challenge today too. I think it was about, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Uh, over the rest of this week, probably very family oriented, very holiday specific, uh, and minimal work involvement. I'm going to admit it right now. I'm not going to work very hard the rest of the week. Yeah, I've got my granddaughter tomorrow and 
Christmas Eve, so that's exciting. And, well, I'll get to see her a little bit. And then we're going to go do Christmas cookies with the cousins. We're going to make these cute little Christmas cookies. Actually, I don't know where mine is, but my sister made them a, a couple years ago. They're these little cookies with a little, uh, a little marshmallow and then a little candy cane handle and they look like hot chocolate and then little miniature cookies so we're gonna make those again because they're not only beautiful but they're also delicious so we're gonna make those and, and we know that the kids will have fun making them as well so that's it that's all i've got for you today if i can help you in any way if you've got a question something you're stuck on ask in the comments below i'm busy with the get up and go challenge for the most part and with my usual folks but i'm always available to answer questions so just ask you know, if you can put it in a succinct way or if you can say, okay, you know, this is what's going on right now. I don't know what to do. And and then we can we can figure something out for you because I don't want anyone to feel like I did early on where sometimes I was stuck and I just had to figure out and find the answers all by myself. Sometimes, guess what? That's called being a self-starter and we need to do that. We're all personally responsible for our success. But other times you're just like, I need to ask somebody this and I don't, is, is it a dumb question? I don't know who to ask. I can be that person. All right. Have an amazing day. I'll be with you tomorrow. And just letting you know what I'm doing as I transition from the offline to the online world. Take care.